Did you know playing some board games is really good for you? Hi everyone, this is Michelle, and I do believe the last time we were together, I may have mentioned my love for games. Uh, and when we're talking the classics, uh, they really are ageless, timeless, they never go out of style, they are always fun to play. And the beauty of the classic board games is you can recreate these games at home by really customizing your own style of game board that's unique to you and your family. And this is one of my favorite game projects and it's taking a old set of TV trays and transforming each one of the trays into a different game. And these TV trays, uh, they're the solid wood ones. You can still buy them new. Uh, you can also find them usually at thrift stores or garage sales, but they're easy to work with. Uh, you can paint on them, wood burn on them, drill on them. And this particular one, this is the cribbage board. And to do that, I just took a, an, another cribbage board that we had and made out a template that I marked off where all the holes needed to be, transferred that to the tray, and then just using a small drill bit that I taped off so that each one of them, uh, is, each hole is the same depth for the pegs that you wanna use. And so you wanna match your drill bit, the size of the hole you're drilling to the pegs that you choose, but you could use some small wooden dowels. My favorite are these double-headed nails that we just sanded and tapered down. They work really nice and are easy to grab onto. For the Chinese checkers, again, easy a board to create using a piece of pegboard as your template. And you need to cut out a piece of pegboard that has the right number of holes for your game. You're gonna place that onto your board. And then I used a plunge router to go over each one of those holes and recess that down slightly so it fits a marble nicely. You could also maybe play around with a drill bit and, or something that's attached to your Dremel. There might be some other ways to go about doing that, but this uh, the router made it really slick. For your checkerboards, of course, very easy. You can just draw out your designs, paint it out. You could uh, wood burn on it and then have some fun figuring out what types of game pieces you wanna use. use some old buttons or some log slices, maybe some found objects that you have. And then for our fourth tray, if you can kind of see here, this one was just painted up with some chalkboard paint. That way you could sit at this one and just play some drawing games or just sit and draw or maybe some card games, but they are a lot of fun to make and they're just as fun to pull up and play. So I strongly encourage all of you at home or I challenge you to remake one game at your house so you too can feel the difference.